Hey everyone, Brian from Workshop Addict, and let's take a look at Milwaukee's new M18 Fuel 1 and 9 16 inch SDS Max rotary hammer. This came in a kit and is model number 2717-22HD. Let's go over some quick specs, take a look at the rotary hammer, and then go over the whole thing in general. So first you have 0 to 450 RPM, 0 to 3000 BPM, and this rotary hammer delivers 5 foot-pounds of impact energy. Now you have a max capacity of 1 and 9 16 inch in a twist bit, a 4 inch core bit, or a 2 and 5 8 inch tunnel bit. The kit comes with a rapid charger, two 9.0 amp hour batteries, the rotary hammer, and a nice case. Now what stands out about this case is that you have a spot to store some bits in the bottom, and it's also very heavy duty. These tools are meant to be on the road, on a job site, and they're not gonna just be carried around in a flimsy case. This case allows you to throw this tool around a little bit without ever worrying about damaging it. This rotary hammer has a variable speed trigger with a trigger lockout mechanism located just above the trigger. You have two modes that's operated by this switch up top. You have your hammer drill mode. You have a mode where you can adjust the tool to be where you want it to be for when you're just hammering or again another mode where you can adjust the tool. Your side handle is also adjustable and can be placed anywhere you'd like it to be in a 360 degree fashion. Removing a bit is very simple. You pull back here, pull the bit out, or slide it back into place, and let that forward, and locks the bit in. The tool itself is 18 and 3 quarter inches long and 14.75 pounds. Now it's made with most of the same materials that you'll find in a corded rotary hammer, and that's one of Milwaukee's main goals, is to provide a cordless job site. So this tool is meant to go out and perform exactly the same as their corded models in the same class. Now if you're chipping, you can get approximately 20 minutes out of the 9.0 amp hour battery. And if you're going to drill different size holes, obviously it's going to make a huge difference on the size of hole as to how many holes you're going to get off one battery. We went big and started out with an inch and 7 16 bit that's 16 inches long. We were able to drill four 16 inch deep holes into concrete before we emptied the drill. Now you might be thinking that's not many holes, but we are at the absolute max of what this unit will take or very close to it. And that's going to really slow this unit down or make it work harder. This is going to be a lot more ideal a right around the one inch category of drill bits where you'll get a lot more holes. We had another three quarter inch drill bit and this thing just pounded it through the concrete like it wasn't even there. So if you're looking at this, you can easily go out and use this on a job site, drill a couple holes, charge the battery up and move on. Now if you're going to do core bits, core bits are um, great with this tool. We had a two and a half inch core bit and a three inch core bit. It had no problem with them. You can go up to a max of four. It did tear the battery up a little bit more when we got to the larger core bit and tried to get deeper in. Um, but that's one of those things that these tools really are meant to run on a 9.0 amp hour battery. This is a 3P battery, so there's three layers of 18 volt cells inside. And you can run it on a smaller battery, but you're not gonna get the power or the runtime. So SDS Max drills are big drills, they're heavy, the jobs are not always gonna be done in a quick manner, but this drill does have the battery life or the runtime to get through it and complete the jobs on a job site. Uh, if you're doing multiple, multiple jobs, obviously you're going to probably either have to have a larger corded unit or multiple batteries. Stop by Workshop Addict. We have a blog and a forum. Also follow us on social media. We have a lot of fun out there and we have some giveaways and contests. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.